Hi there, welcome to day two, Drive for Change Sober October Challenge. I trust you already hit the road today. Yesterday, I asked you to get in the driver's seat and regain control of the wheel and take 100% responsibility for your life. I also challenged you to identify one area of your life that you feel powerless and take one bold action towards reclaiming your power and creating change in that area. I trust you are able to feel positive energy, momentum that comes from getting into action and taking more responsibility for the quality of your life experiences. Even the smallest change in your thoughts, feelings, and behaviors begins in an energetic shift that can bring you closer to living the ideal life. And the more action you take to the path of success will become clear, clear, and clear. So today, what I would like to help you do is to know your destination. Because we waste so much time, energy on life when we have no clear destination. We go off the wrong direction, take wrong turns, get stuck in the middle of nowhere, spinning our wheels, or driving around aimlessly so long we forget that there was an, even a destination in the first place to where we actually are going and what we want to achieve. Now you have to have clarity in order to know where you're going and what kind of change you really want to create in your life. This means being honest with yourself and making sure the destination is really somewhere you want to go and the life you are working to create is something that you want to truly make in your life and make you happy. Now I see far too many people that spend their whole life working their way to the top on whatever ladder they, are, they were climbing, only to discover that the ladder was leaning on the wrong wall the whole time. They thought they wanted to rise up in the ranks in whatever organization they're in. But when they finally made that full partner, they were miserable. They didn't enjoy the extra work and the intense responsibility that came with it. Or they thought they wanted to be a doctor. So they went to all through medical school, starting their own practice, only to discover it. It didn't fulfill them. And they would have been much happier being a teacher. Or they wanted a high paying job, big house, expensive car, country club kind of life, only to realize they've been much happier with a less expensive apartment in the city, less time to commute, be able to travel around the world with the money they saved. Now the thing is, the world is always telling us what we should want to pursue and achieve in our lives. You know, the impressive job, the perfect family, and the expensive clothes, the big house in the fancy neighborhood. And for some people, that is part of their desired experience. And that's perfectly fine. But you have to make sure the goals you are really pursuing are really part of the ultimate vision. And achieving them will help you create the life that you've always wanted and the experiences you've always wanted to have as well. Otherwise, you will always struggle to find the motivation momentum you need to achieve those goals. And even if you manage to achieve them, you will eventually, you will find out that you are still missing out on the happiness and fulfillment you were hoping for all this time. So what we would like you to think about today is this. When you think about what you want your life to look like, how does that show up for you and how does that make you feel? And to help you get clear, I would like to walk you through a brief guided process to help you gain some clarity to what you really want and the changes you need to make to bring your ideal vision to life. First of all, make sure you are in a quiet place. You won't be disturbed for the next five minutes. And you can sit down, lay down, or in a position that you feel comfortable to do. Now, close your eyes and take some deep breaths. Make sure you extend your exhalation a little longer than your inhalation. I like to breathe in for the count of six and exhale for the count of eight, like this. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, and exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And whenever you exhale is longer than your inhale, it sends a signal to your body to relax. And as you breathe in for the count of six and out for the count of eight. So do something very similar to that. I also want you to imagine a sphere of brilliant white light surrounding your entire body while you're focusing on the process of deeply and slowly breathing in and out. So go ahead and take a few of these long, and relaxing breaths as you imagine your body is surrounded by radiant white light. Now as you continue to breathe slowly, the third step is to focus on your heart 
the area of your chest where you can perhaps find your heartbeat. Take a moment. What I would like you to do is this, is to continue breathe into the part of your body for a moment. And imagine your heart breathing air in through your chest as if you had an opening in your chest going straight into your heart and imagining your heart filling up more and more with white light each breath you take. Now, take a few breaths like that. Now as you continue that slow, deep breathing into your heart, take a moment to focus on the person, maybe an animal, a place, or a thing that you really appreciate, that you are really intensely grateful for having in your life. Then allow yourself to feel that appreciation in every cell of your body. And you may want to gently allow yourself to let a smile form on your face as you think about how much you appreciate this person, place, animal, or thing. And now that you are in your heart, the fourth step, I want you to ask yourself the following question and simply allow the, an answer to come to you. It may come to you in a form of a voice speaking to you or an image or a picture that arrives in your consciousness or a deep inner knowing of some kind. Now here's the question to ask yourself. What do I really want in my life right now? And simply allow that answer to come to you. Don't force it. Just know that when the answer comes, it will come in a form of a place of love. Again, the question is, what do I really want in my life right now? Now I'll be quiet for a moment while you ask yourself that question. Now, keeping your eyes closed, what I would really like you to do now is think about the changes that you would really like to do in making your life this fall. 
I encourage you to think about what kind of changes that will allow you to experience more in which what you really want most in your life. Changes that you know that will make you happy and fill you with satisfaction, contentment. What big shifts or transformations could you make, you know, personally and professionally in your lives that would help you get more joy, fulfillment in your life? So again, I will be quiet to see what answer, thoughts, feelings, and emotions show up for you. All right, now with your eyes still closed, when you're ready, and last and most important step is to thank your inner intuition for the messages that it shared with you. So go ahead and do that right now. And to complete this process now, take a final deep breath in, and then exhale, gently open your eyes, and simply look around and become aware of where you are and what's happening around you. Very good. What I would like you to do right now is to identify one change, yes, one change that you absolutely know you want to make in your life before the end of the year. Maybe one of the answers you just got, perhaps. Now I want you to write it down. For example, you may want to get back in shape after drinking for so many years so you can have the strength to deal with urges and cravings. Or maybe you want to declutter your garage so you can get rid of all the empty beer cans or the wine bottles that you left for years of drinking so you don't get triggered again. Or read a book to help you stay sober. Or take a class to improve your emotional mindset. Or maybe you want to start a new hobby to distract yourself from the alcohol and drugs. Just make sure whichever goal you choose is something you know that will take you closer to creating the life you want to live. And once you are clear on the change you want to make, choose a bold action that you will take today, yes, today, that will move you closer to that change. Remember, bold doesn't have to mean big. I want you to choose an action that is something that you know that you can complete today. Given everything else on your plate, maybe it will require you to give up something like maybe half an hour of TV. Whatever that might be, but be willing to do it today. And remember, it has to be something that will nudge you closer to your goals you just identified. That something that you want to achieve in the next few months. For example, to get into shape is to download a fitness app and committing to using it for one week to track your exercise and your food intake. If your goal is to stop smoking, you can get the patch or chewing nicotine gum for the next seven days. Or your goal is to work on your relationships by scheduling a date night or having a heart talk with your spouse. Make sure it's a concrete and a specific task, such as buying enough packs of nicotine gum to last you for seven days or 10 packs of nicotine patches, as opposed to something vague like one pack of nicotine gum and saying, hopefully that's enough. The more specific it is, the more easier it will be to cross off your list. And that momentum generated by doing so will propel you into more action in the days to come. Now remember, what all human beings ultimately want, what we are born to do is evolve. That's why Tony Robbins says, if you're not growing, you're dying. And I agree with him. So the basic reason we are here is to evolve and grow. So if you think about the changes you want to make before the end of the year and want to and are going to do today is to nudge yourself forward to that goal. I encourage you to consider the question, where is life guiding you to evolve? If you focus on your growth efforts in these areas of your life, I guarantee the momentum you create will have a huge impact in all areas of your life. So what I would like you to do now is once you have decided your bold drive for change action for today, is be sure to share it in the group. Like I said yesterday, there's power in declaring whatever action you are going to take and holding yourself accountable for taking those actions. 
for achieving those goals. And when you do that, you'll be entered into a great prize worth maybe hundreds or even thousands of dollars. So let us know what you're committing to achieving. We are all here to cheer you on and to provide you with motivation. You need to step into bigger actions that you need to get better results in your life. See you tomorrow.